okay, my name is Polo. I'm the founder of Can We Feed a Family in Need? And basically, the organization was created by two members, me and French Jose. We had a vision one day and, you know, we sat down with each other and we discussed what we could do different to feed families in need, you know. And um, the vision that we had was like, I was sitting at home one day and I was saying to myself, what can I do different, you know, in this society to make somebody understand that somebody out there really does care, you know? And um, so I came up with this vision and I didn't really even think it was gonna work, you know what I mean? And um, I gave it a shot. Like everything in, in life, I gave it a shot, you know? And I called him and I thought he was gonna laugh at me because you know, when, when is it like every day that you could call your friend and say, yo, listen, I think I want to help the needy. You know, I want to help the people that are, that are less fortunate as me. You know what I mean? The reason why I wanted to do it is because, you know, uh, growing up, you know, in the South Bronx, you know what I'm saying, on Watson Avenue, you know, I come from, my mother raised like four kids. I'm the youngest of four, you know, and... You know, my mother was this woman that, you know what I'm saying, did the best she could with what she had, you know what I mean? But I remember the times as a child, you know, where I wanted, you know what I'm saying, something to eat at night, you know what I mean? And there wasn't really that much to eat in my house, you know what I mean? And I remember times when I wanted, like, to eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and, you know, my mother would be like, you know, there ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? I remember as a child, my mother used to tell me things like, you know, go make a, a syrup sandwich, you know what I'm saying? Or like when I wanted some cornflake, you know, and there wasn't no milk in the house, she would like tell me like, you know, go heat up a little hot water and, you know, put it in the, in the cornflakes. I don't want anyone, if I have the opportunity to help out, you know, if God or my higher power allows me to, that no, no family should go hungry, you know what I'm saying? No kids should go hungry, you know, and, and, and that's, that's basically, you know, my aim, you know, I'm, I'm not looking, you know, to, to, to get recognition or anything of the source for what I'm doing. You know, the recognition is that I could probably feed somebody. Like a kid don't have to rely on, wouldn't have to go to school and rely on a school lunch, you know what I'm saying, to, 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 uh, to eat. You know, but what about when school is over and he comes home and there's nothing to eat, you know what I mean? So. I know what is it, see, I know what is it, you know what I'm saying, to go hungry, you know what I'm saying? I know what is it not to have nothing. You know, and there was times that, you know, I, I would wish, you know what I'm saying, that somebody, you know, even though I was going through the struggles that I was going through in my life, you know, through my addiction, but that didn't mean that I wasn't a good person. It doesn't mean that I wasn't hungry, you know what I mean? I remember like going through certain places and wishing that somebody would just give me a plate of food, you know what I mean? Because I was hungry, you know? And, and this, is, this is where I got the vision from. You know, I'm, a, I'm affiliated with a 12-step program, you know, and this program has teaching me not only uh, to think of myself, but think of myself less and think about somebody more, you know? And this, and this is one of the things that, you know, that, that makes me happy and makes me content that I just know in my heart that someone, some kid, some mother, or some mother or father that are out there struggling, you know what I mean? To pay the bills and to, you know, provide for their kids don't have to eat. People has been reaching out to me, you know, uh, and everything that I do is freely and given from the heart Listen, it's, it's, it's other people that you're not even going to see, you know, that are in the trenches, you know what I mean, that, that are given to me. I, I'm just the messenger, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just the messenger, you know, uh, 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 people has been given freely from their heart, you know, and it be people that, that you least expect that will give. It, it's, it's, it's even families that are probably struggling within themselves but have the willingness, you know what I'm saying, to give one or two or three cans because they know that things are gonna get better for them. And as long as they continue to like provide 
and help somebody else selflessly, you know, I truly believe that the God of their understanding will provide for them. What separates us is that nobody be turned away. You know what I'm saying? Not only that they wouldn't be turned away, we're knocking on doors. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we're getting references from other people, people that are, are willing to give from their heart. Say, listen, Polo, uh, French Jose, listen, I know this family in need, they embarrassed to even uh, ask for help. So I am initiating the help. Would you be willing to help? You know, and, and, and let me tell you the, the joy and the beauty that I get from just knocking on somebody's door that don't even know me. And I say, listen, my name is Polo and I'm here to provide services. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to like let you know that whatever you're going through in your daily struggles, somebody does care, you know? And, and let me tell you, the, the beauty of just giving, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great joy and it's a great feeling that when, the, when people do donate to us, it, it's a sense of belonging that here it is, people are putting faith, faith, that they will give us the food and we will do the proper thing to get it out to who it needs to get out to. Now, I don't know. I ain't never been trusted nowhere. You know, I always been a, I always, I always been a taker. You know what I mean? I always was, you know, what can I get, how can I get it, and where I could get it from. You know, and, and today, through this food drive, can we feed a family in need has teaching me on a deeper level that it's not really about, you know what I'm saying? And, and I hope and pray that, you know, uh, people will, will hear this and not think it's a gimmick. Listen, we need all the support we can get, you know what I mean? If it's one can, if it's two cans, if it's three cans, we need contributions, you know what I mean? We need help, you know, we, we can't do this alone. We would love to, but it's not possible. We're not looking for no money donations, we, 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 that's not our aim. You know, our aim ain't money. You know what I'm saying? Our aim is food. You know? Because I never know. You know? You know, be, being in recovery, you know, having these stuff, you know, having, you know, the money, property, and prestige that God has blessed me with, I never know. I never know when I'm going to go jobless, penniless, and homeless. And I hope and pray that if that was to ever happen to me and my family, that somebody, just somebody, will help me get through the struggles of not eating at night. You know what I'm saying? Basically how it works is, you know, if you need the food, don't hesitate, you know, to ask for the help. You know, there's no questions to be asked. There's no pledges to sign. You know, listen, we get free, you know what I mean? We, we, we give freely from what we have. Listen, the overwhelming uh, donations that, uh, 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 that that we have been getting is phenomenal. You know, uh, you know, I, I, me, me and my me and my partner, uh, French Jose, we, we we decided to post this on Facebook. And let me tell you, when we put it on there, it was like this ain't gonna work. You know, you know, you know how many people post stuff on Facebook on a daily basis that. Not saying that don't really have nothing to do with nothing, but you know, here it is, people were looking at a food drive. You know, can we feed a family in need? You know, some people probably looked at it like it was a gimmick. You know what I mean? Two guys trying to embezzle. You know what I mean? And the overwhelming, just the overwhelming reach out was was phenomenal. You know, it was like Probably like an hour later, there was like probably a hundred people responding to, I want to help. We just got to have faith that these people really saying what they saying and they're going to get. I have about close to 2,500 people in my network. And out of 2,500 people, probably a thousand people already have responded to this request of helping people. You know, listen, I, I know, I know that this vision I know that this 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 organization that that we have created is going to go places. You know what I'm saying I know that can we feed a family? It's a bigger vision 
that that I could even dream of. You know, you know why? Because the people in my network understand. They really understand what is it not to have. They know what is it to go hungry. They know what is it to be homeless. They know what is it to to just just be just be spiritually dead. You know what I'm saying? So when I ask for help, you know what I mean? Do I know that people are gonna give it to me? Yes, I do. Because the people that are on my network, the majority of them understand the aim that's going on. What's they know what the big picture is. You know, some people don't really understand, and that's okay. But there's other people that know how to get out the picture, you know what I'm saying, and look at the frame that we've once been here. You know what I mean? We've been here before. So if if, 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 if my God or somebody else's God or whatever they choose to call their higher power could do something for us, it's a strong possibility that our higher power could do it for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So, so do I know that this organization is, is gonna prosper? Yes, I do. Because the people in my network understand what is it to come from the monk of the mind. They know what is it to be spiritually dead. They know what is it to be spiritually confused. And they also know what is it to be deprived. You know what I mean? You know, and, you know, like, like, you know, there's a saying somewhere I go where they say, lost dreams awakening and new possibilities arise. You know what I mean? So, you know, what, what? We, we come here and, 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 and that's it? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's all about polo, it's all about French Jose. No, it's about, you know, this, this is what that fellowship taught me. You know, they, they taught me, you know, polo, give freely what was freely given to you. So what, that, what does that mean? Does that mean that I just take, 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 and not give back? You know what I mean? No. Are you gonna do something? You... Oh, excuse. No, sir. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm good. So, so basically, this is this is the website that me and French Jose created. It's called Can We Just Feed One Family in Need, right? And this is where people come, and we get to understand where people need help. I mean, there's an abundance of people on here that that are helping. Right, I mean, in abundance, in abundance, like uh, I'll show you. See, that's that's me packing up some of the food, you know, that some of the people have have donated, you know, that's that's some of the stuff that uh, <clears throat> she donated to us, and I could tell you about it, but if you go to the website, you can see for yourself what basically uh, this website is about, you know. Now, this website is also designed for people that need it. You know what I mean? And if you if you don't feel free to uh, post that you need help, you can always inbox us. You know what I'm saying? You can you can inbox us. Nobody's gonna be denied. You know, so it's, it, it'll be a good idea to uh, not only come here but also recommend other people to the to the website. Uh, if you don't know and you don't ask for help, uh, a closed mouth can't be fed, you know. So if you know anyone that needs food, they could come also on this website. Let us know where they live at. How can we contact them? This website is not only for people to donate food. It's also for people in need. If you know a family that's in need and doesn't have own a PC computer or doesn't have a computer and doesn't have an asset to a computer, then you can reach me at 718-530-4059. That is my cell phone number. Call and I will pick up.